What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This guys is going to be the NWO sold out arena from 1997. This event took place at the Five Seasons Center in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, it's kind of cool, this is actually an arena that I've been to numerous times, it's called the US Cellular Center now. Um, but yeah, this has been a highly requested video for the last little bit, so I just finally decided to go through and get it done. Looks kind of basic, but honestly this is pretty much exactly what it looks like. So, the stage itself was kind of cool. Uh, most promotions don't really do a stage like this. Basically, they have the stage that's set up here. Then they had another platform that was set up back here. Um, so they actually walk through over here. There must have been some stairs or something that was set up, but it was kind of dark, so I couldn't really see it. But basically, the superstars would come down, or I guess they call them wrestlers back then. Um, basically, they'd come here, they'd walk down this platform here, and then they'd walk over down the ramp to the ring. Basically, they've got, they had some lights that were set up here. I just used glowstone just because that's what it, I mean, they kind of looked like, really. They were just this style light, but they were kind of spread out a little bit more. But basically, the lights would say, um, they would say NWO, and then they would switch over to, I don't remember if it said sold out or too cool, or it was something like that. It would flip back and forth between the two. And then below this, they had three screens that were set up here. That would show different things. And then these um, actually were screens as well. Um, I made them white because it kind of popped a little bit more since the NWO's colors are white and black. Um, but for a lot of it, they basically were just black and then they just said NWO sold out on them. Um, and then they did actually have like some motorcycles that were set up on the stage. But obviously with Minecraft, a motorcycle is literally impossible to build. So, yeah, this is what the stage looks like. I think it looks awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. Like I said, it's not one of my big extravagant stages that I've done in the past, but with a lot of the WCW shows, this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, they kept it pretty basic. It's very similar kind of what I would say to, like, an AEW nowadays. Like, an AEW still has more now, but, like, they keep them pretty basic. They're not doing the big, giant structures that, like, the WWE does. Um, and plus, this is 97. I mean, even in 97, WWE wasn't doing giant stages. And then our ringside area, this is what it's going to look like here. One of the big differences between WCW and, uh, like, WWF at the time is basically the ring mat itself is actually a really dark gray. And then it actually did say uh, NWO sold out on it. But with Minecraft and how everything's spaced out, there's no way I could put NWO down on the actual ring mat itself. Um, and then the ring lighting is going to basically be just the old school ring lighting that was used in that time frame. Basically, they had the four main sections of lights, and then they basically just had cross beams that were set up to kind of give it like an octagon look. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it looks awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. This show is really weird. I mean, I never got super into WCW when I was younger. I would grew up, you know, watching wrestling during the Attitude Era, but I was never really a WCW kid. But this was cool rewatching it on the WWE Network because one of the cool things was like the whole intro. They had like all these NWO guys. They were like on the back of uh, like garbage trucks and stuff and they were getting um, escorted into the arena by police. It was all black and white. Um, and then they kept showing shots of, you know, like Kevin Nash and Eric Bischoff and Scott Hall and. You know, it was really cool, honestly, how they did it. Then they had, like, this whole thing where they all came out and they were all standing in the ring. This was when the NWO had kind of gotten to the point in WCW. It's what kind of ruined it, honestly. It was basically, it got to the point where there were so many members of the NWO that they tried to make a feud, basically, between the WCW and the NWO. Um... So, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things. People have their different opinions on it. I liked the NWO better when it was just a faction, when it wasn't half the locker room was part of the NWO. But nonetheless, it's still cool. I'm glad I got to build this one. Um, I know they did a couple of these sold-out shows, so depending on how this video does, I may go through and make some other ones. But I'm definitely, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, and with that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much it helps me out. If you guys want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content, make sure you guys head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me are going to get to see. Um, 
And also take a look at my online store. That link's also going to be in the description. Get yourself some awesome Mini Bean 75 merchandise for a great price. I've got some other stuff on there as well. If you want to follow me on social media, those links are also going to be down in the description. That's going to be the best way to get a hold of me. I mean, you can email me. You can message me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Those are going to be the three main ones that I use for um, my account. And then um, I did want to say... For anybody who's still watching this video at this point, I know you guys are the true fans who always want to watch my content. I've got some really big things coming. This There's a build that I've been working on now that is huge. It is so amazing. I can't wait to release it. It should be coming out here within the next couple weeks depending on what I get done. I still have a lot of work left to do on it, but this is one of those that I'm pretty positive is going to just blow up. It's... I'm putting enough work into it that I feel like it has to. So if anybody is feeling like I'm, you know, I'm kind of copping out by doing small arenas or like last week I did, um, you know, I all I did was one roller coaster for my amusement park series. It's because I'm doing other stuff that takes more time. I don't think people realize that a lot of the stuff that I build in Minecraft takes a long time to build. I know I've said this numerous times. Um, so sometimes in the meantime, you're only going to get small things like this. This one I did because people were requesting it, but like my amusement park series, you know, I'm still putting in that work and I'm trying to build a backlog so that I can get to the point where you guys don't have to go a week without getting a video like you guys did, you know, a couple weeks ago when new year's, you know, when the new year rolled around, I'm trying to get myself back to that point. But it's like a lot of this stuff takes a long time and I want to do other stuff other than just build arenas because I want my channel to grow. And I know that if I just keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's not going to grow. Like, it's going to grow to a point, but I want to go way bigger. I want to build big stuff. I don't want to just build arenas. I don't, you know what I mean? So it's taken me a little bit of time to do some of this stuff, but I promise it's going to be worth it. So um, let me know down below if there's other stuff you guys want to see me build, too. Like I, I've said that in numerous videos. Let me know. Um, it doesn't just have to be arenas. I mean, I can do so many other things. Um yeah, just I'm I'm all ears for any ideas. So like I said, if you're still at this point and you're still watching this video, I know you're a true fan and I appreciate you 100%. So let me know down below. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.